My wife has always been wanting some more storage space in the laundry room. It starts with this little gap between the washer and the dryer. I need some 1x8s and 1x3s. Then I need to measure in between the washer and dryer to get the width. This one seems to be 24 inches. And then I need to get the height and it's exactly 36 inches. So let's start measuring and cutting boards. We're going to cut two boards of the 1x8s at 32 and a half. Once we get both of those boards cut, what we're going to then do is go ahead and mark the next boards and we're going to mark two of those at 24 inches. And then we need two more on the 1x8s at 22 and a half. We're going to take all these boards and cut them. Now I'm using my miter saw. You can definitely use a jigsaw if you need to also. Once we get the front and the back cut, these are the longer boards. We're going to put the bottom on. This is our first 24 inch board. Now I like to use my little brad nailer. You can definitely use screws if you want, but again, I will always say, make sure you pre-drill, especially towards the ends of the boards. If you pre-drill, you're less likely to split the boards. Now, once we get the bottom on, we're going to put the middle shelf on. I'm going to go 17 inches from the top. That's going to give me enough room to put some items on there and not worry if I'm running out of room or not. Again, I'm using the brad nailer to put this board in. Now, every shelf is going to need a little barrier to keep everything in. So what we're going to do is cut these one by threes that I got. We're going to put those on the inside. Now, if you're sick of measuring, just use each board, the first one you cut and use it to mark and cut the rest. Every shelf is going to need a little board on each side. That's going to hold our items in. Again, using that brad nailer. Once I put that first side piece in on the bottom shelf, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put the next one on. Also, I'm going to nail it from the bottom. That's going to make it super strong. Now, some of these cuts don't line up exactly perfect. That's okay because we're going to sand it later. Once you run that sander up and down, it's going to get those edges nice and smooth. A lot of this wood is rough. That's okay. Once we get that on, on the bottom, we're going to put some wheels. Definitely need four of them. Now, these are caster wheels. Again, since we're towards the edge of the board, make sure you pre-drill. And we want to make sure the screws we put in are not too long. There's nothing worse than those popping out at the bottom. Once we get that wheel on, it's going to be perfect. Look how it spins just like this. It's great. Now for the top. That's the last board we got, and it's 24 inches. And I got a surprise. We're going to put a hinge on the back. As you can tell, this is definitely the back of the board, just because of that little blemish on that piece of wood right there. Once we get that hinge on, look at that. I've got a little hiding shelf right there. Now, what I need to do is sand it. A lot of these boards feel smooth, but we want to sand them because they got a little bit of a film on them. So run some 80 grit, then up to 220, run it up and down the sides and make it look nice. And then you can either paint or put your favorite stain on. I like to stain it with a rag. It makes it go on and nice and even for me. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to get this all stained up. I'm going to put a handle on it and it's time to put it in place. And just look at that. It fits right in between the washer and the dryer. And with that handle, I can pull it out and store all my items there. Now, the best part about that little hidden spot on top is you don't have to pull it out every time. This is going to have our pods and we can also grab our dryer sheets so we're not pulling it out between every load. I hope this inspired you to build your own laundry room extra storage container. I hope you enjoyed that last episode, but don't hit the stop button yet. First, subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes and stay tuned. We got another one coming right up. I'm not a fan of doing laundry and when it comes to folding clean clothing, there's not enough room in my laundry room. I began by cutting one by 12 inch pine to make the storage cabinet. I made the outside box first. I used a Craig jig to make pocket holes to join my pieces together. This, along with wood glue, would keep everything in place. I measured for my shelves, marking and cutting them to fit, and screwed them in place.
Now that the cabinet was made, it was time to make the table. I used half inch MDF, which I measured and cut to size. I attached a piece of one by two to the bottom of the MDF with glue and brads. I also made the legs for the table out of one by twos. I painted the entire cabinet gray using paint from another project. For the back of the table, I used chalkboard paint and applied two coats. When it was dry, I flipped the table over and applied wallpaper to the other side. This would be my tabletop. To attach the table to the cabinet, I used a piano hinge. I screwed it to the wallpaper side of the tabletop and the bottom front of the cabinet. I used another hinge and attached it to the top of the blackboard side and to the top of the legs. For the back of the cabinet, I attached a quarter inch piece of plywood. The cabinet was very heavy, so I used a French cleat as my hanger. There are two pieces and one screws into the back of the cabinet and then one screwed into the wall. Where I wanted to place the cabinet, there were no studs available, so I drilled holes and put in plastic anchors. The cleat is really easy to install and the cabinet hung right up. To keep the table attached to the cabinet, I fastened a heavy duty magnet to the front. Now I have a place to fold my clothing, extra storage, and a chalkboard to write notes. It's a win-win. I hope this inspires you to build something that's unusually useful.